Hello, good evening and welcome. Exactly. Hello, good evening and welcome. <laughs> Thank you Thank for coming. You, Thank you for coming to the convention. And you're it's doing a, a number of different sessions. And we just enjoyed yes. your Shakespeare little thing. What's your love of Shakespeare and how do you help to get people to enjoy it at the convention? Well, well, I'm a language teacher, and as a language teacher, you know, I cannot but love, admire, be amazed by the sheer linguistic brilliance of uh -huh. William Shakespeare. I mean, just anybody who's interested in language and takes a reasonably careful look at, at Shakespeare's language in the original, particularly, one is impressed by his sheer creativity, originality, the, the passion and the perception into human nature and the compassion of the man, his understanding of so many different types and walks of life. It's that explosive combination of, of sheer magic in language with a heart which, for me, you know, it's, it's such a, uh, what shall I say, all-embracing understanding of human frailty and human glory. It's all there, Gerard. That, for me, it's like a, a secular Bible. Right. I'm not particularly religious, but as a, a substitute, if you like, without all the trappings of unreason and superstition and the dogmatism and the fanaticism, the difference between Shakespeare as a Bible and the other Bibles is that this Bible, I think, opens your, your mind, opens your heart rather than closes it. Right. And how's your experience been at the convention this year? Because um, you're well, welcome so favourite. Well, I'm, you know, it's, it, it's great. I mean, I haven't had time to go to a lot of talks. I went to my old friend Michael McCarthy's talk and supervisor. It was a strange relationship with Michael because we went to university together. Wow. We sat at the same desk, more or less. And we went on to follow our careers. And when I came to do a PhD, Michael McCarthy was my supervisor with Ron Carter. And I have a lot of admiration for him. Um, in just listening to Michael uh, and nothing else makes this day for me worthwhile. I think he's just a brilliant stand-up linguist, stand-up entertaining linguist. Uh, do you see what I mean? Yeah. Every yeah. word is carefully timed, every word is carefully chosen. He's entertaining, he's knowledgeable, he's passionate, probably because he's a Welshman and an Irishman to boot. I mean, what do you expect when you've got a, an all-purpose Celt yes, like Michael exactly. McCarthy, exactly. who knows his stuff and is very passionate about it, you see, and very funny. So what else? That was, for me, that was the highlight. So I haven't done anything else apart from my own talk. Uh -huh. I haven't had time. We've been rehearsing with my colleague, Diana. So we've been very busy. So, but that was a wonderful plenary. Okay, how did your first talk go? Well, I would say, ask the audience. Shall we ask the audience? Mm -hmm. Well, are there anybody, anybody there? there? Are there? He was there, he yeah. was there. <laughs> <laughs> How was the talk? No, it no, no, was very well, very well expressed. The point made, are you, are you with the technology, against the technology, uh, digital native, digital uh, immigrants, I think, digital immigrants? How do you cope with it? What do you believe? How do you think it will change? What the importance is? And I particularly like the point where, when famous people are quoted as being for something, where do they come from? What's, what's behind their, their, their absolute, why are they totally convinced that something's the future? What, what's behind it? What's in it for them? That, that type of thing. I thought that was a very important point to make. Okay, thank you. Thank you. And you have another talk tomorrow? No, I'll be gone tomorrow. I'm off in the morning back to Madrid and then back to Greece. I've been here for two weeks. Uh -huh. so I've enjoyed my two weeks here, but it's time to go home tomorrow. And so been... I've got a session this afternoon. That would be my, my other session. Okay. But flying home tomorrow. Okay. Después de dos semanas in, in Madrid. Ah, it was all bien. Si. Te lo pasaste bien? Si, siempre. That's why I come to Spain. I love Spain. I'm an aficionado. Very good, very good. Thank you, Victor, for this interview. You're welcome. Thank you very much.